morning, everyone, and welcome to Think Future. My name is Chris Kalabukas, and once again, we're coming at you live from deep, deep, deep in the heart of Silicon Valley, California. We're talking innovation startups, the future, not necessarily those and not necessarily in that order. If you're watching on YouTube, smack that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be notified when a new show comes online. And if you're listening on your favorite podcast service, please subscribe and please drop a note on Apple Podcasts. I'd greatly, greatly appreciate it. And don't forget, my latest book, Nine Rules for the Future, A Plan by and for Humanity, was written by myself and ChatGPT a couple of weeks ago. You can pick it up at ninerulesbook.com, ninerulesbook.com. You can read the whole thing there or you can buy a paper copy on Amazon. And it's only five fifty-five, folks. This is a hundred and, let's see, hundred and how many pages? 170 pages, folks, of pure guidance for the human race. Check it out. So what are we talking about today? Oh, yes, that's right. So I was on a webinar the other day for a new tool. And it's an HR, it was an HR tool that... And I just, I just find this really interesting. I'm not sure how <laughs> my, what I, my opinions on this are there yet, but I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Let me know in the com comments below. But there was a new tool that allowed you to practice conversations with your team, and you're a leader, and you have team members, and would allow you to practice conversations with your team for managers who don't have the experience working with a team or talking to a team or managing the team and what it is is a system that allow that creates these AI conversations with fake team members avatar team members so the way it would work is that you would say this is the problem I'm going to deal with I have an employee that's XYZ maybe they have a problem taking responsibility maybe they're slacking on their work maybe they're late whatever you give it the scenario and you tell it a little bit about the employee so that it knows what kind of avatar to create. And then you start talking to an avatar AI person and the avatar a AI HR person sets the whole thing up. And then you go into conversations with the avatar, which is like who are similar to the employee that you're having issues with. So it allows you supposedly helps you to discuss this uncomfortable situation with an avatar instead of or previous prior to talking to the employee so it gets you prepared and ready so you you'd be able to discuss this with the employee this difficult conversation with the employee when the time comes to have this difficult conversation and there was one very interesting point that sort of twigged on me that they mentioned they said that they've done studies and they found that people are more comfortable with avatars than they are with people. So for example, if I was talking to you through a Zoom call and you had an avatar face instead of your actual face, I would be more comfortable talking to you through your avatar face. Now, personally, I don't think so my, for myself because I know it's you behind there. And Maybe if I knew you were a, a computer and not a human being, then maybe I would be more open with you. But I find that interesting. I find it really interesting how we deal with computer entities nowadays because they seem to be getting smarter and smarter and smarter, right? I mean, how did we deal? How do we deal with computer entities? We know how to deal with people. But human beings, we don't really know how to deal with computer entities. Sometimes we're pleasant to them and we deal with them like we would a human and sometimes we're nasty to them we just order them around like a slave or a servant that you don't like maybe this is one of those things you know how they say when you're dating somebody and you see how well your date treats the wait staff maybe this has something to do with it maybe 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 that's the thing with ai as well maybe we have to figure out how ai treats us or how the person treats ai an ai avatar Maybe if the person doesn't treat the AI avatar well, maybe they won't p treat humans well. But I digress. I thought the interesting point was that human beings deal differently with avatars than they do with humans, right? And I asked this question at a meetup I was going to. I said, how would you, would you prefer to deal with a human or would you prefer to deal with an AI, with an, with an AI avatar? 
And some people said, oh, I prefer a human. And other people said, oh, I prefer an AI. And other people said, oh, I prefer a, an AI for some things and a human for other things. So ideally, we want to have both there. But if you ask me, I prefer an AI. First of all, AIs don't have an ulterior motive. Maybe they will soon because of ChatGPT 4, 5, 6, whatever. Maybe they will have an ulterior motive. But right now, I think if you ask an AI to do something, it will do it. And it will, if you ask an AI about your balance or something simple like that, it won't try to upsell you or anything like that, unless it's been programmed to upsell you, of course. But I think we're in a period of time right now where people are preferring AIs, asynchronous communications with AIs, like chat, like ChatGPT, to almost any kind of conversation. And I'm finding this very interesting because I have a feeling that what's happened is that we've we've going, gone into a new period where the, the distrust of other human beings is probably as high as it's ever been. I don't know, maybe prior to my thinking of recorded history, but the our society is moving from a high trust society to a low trust society. And I think the low trust societies, there's plenty of low trust societies out there. But I think some of our high trust societies are also moving towards becoming a low trust society between humans. And I think one of the reasons why we're doing this is because we feel that we can confide with an AI avatar better than we can with a human being because the human being has all of this sort of emotional baggage, I guess you could say. And maybe that's also one of the reasons why people are, you know, you see people in Japan marrying avatars and people are actually marrying avatars or they're marrying themselves that they don't like the complications that come with relationships, with human relationships. They're okay with the, with the sort of lack of complications from a AI relationship, but they have trouble with human relationships. Maybe that's why they're okay with pet relationships, but they're they step away from human relationships because they're too complicated and convoluted and emotionally ridden. And I think a lot of this has to do with honesty and trustworthiness and us now having the tools to be able to not communicate directly with other individuals, but we can do it, we do it through things instead of directly. So I just found it interesting that nowadays it's been, it's been not proven, but it's, it's more likely that people would prefer to work with an AI, a non-human entity, than they would be with a human. I just thought that was an extremely interesting thing. I don't know what your thoughts are. What are your thoughts? What do you feel like? Do you prefer dealing with humans? Or you do you prefer dealing with AI? Let me know in the comments below. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.